So if you remember in the previous lesson, we changed this cabinet one, we translated this in Excel and imported back to ePlan. Now let's see. This is the current translation and we want to see the new one. So if you remember SS and so on. So let's go to utilities once again to translation and translate. Nothing really happens. Now let's see how do we change that. Let's go once again to utilities to translation and let's select our project utilities translation. Test input settings. This is the function you have to tick. You have to select also that one. Change translated texts. So the texts that are already translated, change those also. To see the change we made in Excel Notepad and back when we imported the changes back to ePlan, to the dictionary. Let's click OK. Just once again to add a dictionary to see, to show you. That's the one we made. We translated that correctly, so to say. The English one and the German version of this phrase. Now let's see the effect with that function we ticked moments ago. Once again, translation, translate the whole project and now we get the right one. Once again to check our project. Seems like we don't have anything left to be translated. Now sometimes you don't want to translate something. You can, for some text or anything, you can select this, tick this box, do not translate automatically. Remove translations, you would say yes. And for this one, you won't have a translation. You could also do this in various other places in your circuit diagram, just as a small example. And that's about it. Now let's export Now let's export our project to German in PDF to see if we manage to have all the inputs, everything translated. Okay, okay, close and page export to PDF, student one, let's say it's a translated to German, save, black and white, okay. Now this is our project in German, also the pages, so the title page and the plot frame, the forms and everything should be in order now. So that's it for this video and I hope you learned a lot about translation module in ePlan.